Let's try to connect this uh, to the, the body of the young woman that's in the yurt. Yeah, look, at this guy has such an interesting design to it. It's very painterly, like very intentionally, though. It's not like trying to pretend to be like not a skybox. This whole game kind of has that look. All right. I guess we want to oh, be very careful. Just going to put you down gently. Yeah, it looks kind of like this thing. Oh, 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 okay. We can just take this out. Uh, I'm going to very, very carefully put you on this. Nope. <laughs> Come on, work with me on this one. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, she looks fine. Uh, all right. Put you in and grab you. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Your hair looks great. Um, so I guess maybe let's try turning it on. Ah. Oh. oh, it's a different number. Something is wrong. I better turn it off. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it's a, it's a different number. I wonder if these are, like, the consciousness. Interesting. Okay. Um. Find and connect the synchronizer. Hmm. Synchronizer. Wait, uh, was that the item that we have here? Uh, maybe? It's hard to tell. Huh. Um, let's put you away. Do I use it on this? Strange device on the yellow table. I'm not sure what it is, but its parts are identical to the... Hmm. Yellow. Talk about. Talking about yellow. Strange device on the table, yellow. Huh. Talking about this? It doesn't look right. It doesn't look like we can interact with it. Um, hmm. What do you want to do here? Anything on the wall? Hmm. Synchronizer. Where is the synchronizer? Like, is is this the synchronizer, I guess? Just, I haven't seen a spot where... Can't use. Huh. Can't use. Can't use. This has got to be it, right? This is like... Uh, I think this even says... No, it's the Grace Embalmer 2. Hmm. For a, I think it's a yellow device. I didn't see anything, though. No, nothing here. Wait. Um, no, that looks like just like a screwdriver. Yep. Hmm. No, those are glasses. Glue? I mean, glue fixes everything. What can't you fix? I guess, really, it's more, what can't you fix with WD-40 and duct tape? Oh. Is this something? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Nothing here. Hmm. Like, can I use this while she's freaking out? Or no? No. Hmm. Some component might be missing. Wait, missing? Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I will put this on the bed for you. Here you go. Nope, didn't mean to put that in the inventory. I'm just going to take you and gently put you on the bed. What is going on in here? Yeah, it looks like something needs to go inside the chest. It looks like there's an empty cavity. Okay. I mean, I didn't mean to steal the boobs. I thought there was maybe like a button we could press. Uh, is there anything more? Or is it just that? Yeah, what is good? This is a, a weird thing too, because it doesn't look like she can actually stand up. Uh, very peculiar. Uh, a form of specialist on heating systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could just you're you can you can relax. You're you're you know. 
take a load off your chest, as it were. To, to use a, a blunt turn of phrase. What the hell goes into there? Um, is there like a button here that like, is there something already in the device? Huh. Hmm. Is there something we can put in that cavity? Uh, hmm. Ah, okay. Your favorite toy as a child was a processing device. The main part of a mechanical body. There are two more parts in the yurt. Okay, so there are two more parts in the yurt itself. We don't need to go outside of here. This game is actually quite good about hiding stuff, so I guess we should start looking behind boxes and things. On the off chance that there might be something there. Okay. We're looking for a mechanical device. Maybe we now we can open something that we couldn't before? Hmm. Uh, oh, just a rubber ball. That's nice. And we haven't really seen anything like that, though. Again, unless it's very well hidden. Oh, what do we have back here? The genes revision me mechanism is, uh, has formed around 200... Wait, 200,000 years ago. Curiously enough, it is present only in the human nervous system. Nothing uh, of the like has been detected in other animals, including primates. Ah, okay, I see what they're talking about. Our genealogical cousins. It is hard to imagine what could have pushed the ancient man's organism to carry out such sophisticated self-modification. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, we can't open this. That's, yep. Yeah, the upper chest is too heavy. So maybe we actually have to get something out of these chests as well. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm assuming we can use this. Ah, yes. The memory gland, as it were. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, there are two other parts in the yurt still. What else could the other one be? I'm committing pun crimes over here. Oh, where could this other one be? Is it like in plain sight and we don't even realize it? It's kind of neat because it definitely feels like we are a stranger even in this world. You know, this character seems like they don't even know what's going on. Yeah, nothing in here. Yeah, no, Tibetan Book of the Dead. I'm going to look behind everything just in case. I'm wondering if these things have something in them. We can't open this. Oh, I want to take these clothes out. Come on. Come on. There we go. Very important. Just in case there's something below here. Ooh. Notification 82958. Dear Bachindala, we are perplexed by your sudden decision to change your place of residence and move into the home of your late son. We realize that at the significant hour, uh, at this difficult hour, our advice may seem out of place. Nevertheless, we feel it is our duty to remind you of the danger of long-term presence so near the center of desperatoxin contamination. We urge you to leave the three-kilometer zone as quickly as possible should you decide to return to Ulan Bator. Please contact our operator. Huh, what is this? Uh, dear Bachindala, uh, please accept our deepest condolences re regarding the tragic death of your family. You will be granted assistance in removing their belongings from the contamination zone. Please... Oh, our contact has to clarify the details. So this must be the the parents that our character never met. Gotcha, gotcha. I was wondering if we can maybe pick up these pillows. Uh, Coke's Code of Salvation. Were I given the magical opportunity today to send a one-word text into the past, I would rate 3513 and send it to myself. Yes, it is only four digits, but it would have been enough to save our world. Wait, what? This famous quote of Helmut Koch naturally tugs at our heartstrings. Today, when the prospect of returning to our former lives are all but nil, the thought of the chance we had missed torments us all. These days, everyone knows the number 3513. We associate with a spell that could have been uh, that, that could have saved us all, if only it were cast in time. But how is it that four simple digits could have prevented the disaster? Our exclusive interview with Professor Koch, the pioneer of neurocopying, 
sheds new light on previously unknown details of this tragic story. Wait, what happened? Why is that never significant? Did you not keep the rest of this paper? God damn it. All right, so obviously something is important there. Hmm, I wonder if there's, is there is there another item that we need to do or are we good to go? Uh, I'll just gently put this back. Oh. Nope. Nope, something's wrong. Sorry about that. Uh, is there anything else we can do with the head? Oh, no, it looks like there's something missing, like... Oh, no, that's just her number thing. Okay. Well, we'll just gently remove this again. It's fine. Yeah, it is very suspicious we don't see our character. But that also might just be a limit. Like, we don't see any reflections of, of people in this. Oh. Hey, what is this? There's, like, a, just, like, a radio. Okay. Um, hmm. I wonder, do we have to use this on this before it can be used again? Oh, no, we can't take it out. So it must be good to go. Hmm. All right, what other item are we missing? Just kind of scouring around here. They said it's in the yurt, so I'm kind of not exploring around here in, in the hope that the hint is being 100% truthful. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's a, like, I have so many questions about this world, especially with their whole, like, oh, and these ugly people sacrificed themselves and, and died to remove their ugliness. It's like, wait, what? Wait, wait, what's happening here? Oh. Hey. Can we use this on this? Uh, I can use the remote to turn it on, but I'll need to power it up first. Okay, so we'll put you down. Hmm. Uh, can I turn you on like this? How do I, how do I do this? How do, how do we turn you on? Huh, I can use your remote to turn it on, but we'll need to power it up. But isn't it already powered? Confused. All right, well, uh, you can hang out. Uh, I mean, they do call it the boob tube for a reason, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's the real question, Nicholas. It seems like, you know, perhaps that might be a, a little bit of propaganda. Uh, they just so willingly sacrifice themselves. No, no, it's fine. Do, oh, no, no, uh, we interviewed them. You don't need to talk to them. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe we want to look outside just in case the other component is out here. Nice socks. Yeah, but also there was like some great calamity that happened at that dome out there, I'm assuming. Hmm. Oh, what is this? I mean, we could start uh, maybe poking our head over here a little bit. Just to see what's going on. What is this? Hmm. Uh, epistolary. Uh, epistolar, epistolary? Not sure how. Uh, let's call it epistolary. Communication terminal. Data last cartridge, July 1st, 2058. I guess we don't know what year it is, so we don't have, know how old that is. Is it 2058? Is it 3058? Huh. You open this, or is that not of interest to us? Oh, wow, yeah. Look at this place. Okay. All right, before we go there, we should probably figure out what's going on with this lady. I feel like that is of the utmost importance. As, as intriguing as ominous, you know, decaying domes of uh, immense mystery are, we should probably fix her up first. Huh. Oh, solar panel. I wonder if we can connect this. Like, is that how we power it up? This go here? Uh, it fits. I'll secure it later. Well, why not secure it now? God damn it. All right. Well, I guess at least we know that goes there. So I'll just put you here. Stay put, okay? Yeah, I'm wondering if there is anything around here for us. Uh, substance out of nothing. A curious physical phenomenon is being observed during experiments synchronizing neurochips with DNA copies. A condensate of unknown substance has been forming inside fully airproof sections of the resonating mechanism. 
Data gleaned from its chemical properties is sure to send shockwaves across the scientific community, research claim. researchers claim. Wait. What? What? What is ex being excreted? Uh, the box is wired up. Wait, why would I want to have a wired up box? This is very peculiar. I'm assuming at some point we're going to have to do something with all of this. Um... A board, nothing going on there. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we need to find. I mean, it can't be one of the batteries, right? Like, the, these don't seem like compatible technologies. <laughs> Car battery versus synthetic human. I feel like maybe don't mix, but hey, I'm no expert. This is very intriguing. It's closed. Yeah, we haven't found anything in here. Oh, back here. No, nothing. Is there like another device on this? Oh, there is. Oh, okay. Um, okay, great. Um, cool. <laughs> I'm glad we put those in the right place. Okay, hopefully now we can have a little chat. Oh, oh. You you doing okay? You doing okay? Yeah? No? All right. All right, it seems to be stabilizing. Oh, we can we can talk with them. Uh, hi. Hi. Oh, that's us. Uh, uh hey. Hey. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Where am I? Uh, somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. Somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. What happened to you? Man, that's a very good question. What happened to us? I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Well, that's true. Yes. Are you a Morgan? Um, I don't know what that is. Hey, how's it going, Devin? I don't know. But I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? Uh, we found it in a little toy tin that we buried a long time ago when we were a kid. found it in a cache <laughs> underground. <laughs> Uh, a long time ago. A long time ago, yeah. I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You Why did we have it? My neurochip and then buried it in the ground? Yeah, that's a very weird thing that we were doing. Um, but I guess that's true. It looks that way, but I don't remember any of it. How are you doing today, uh, Devin? Uh, my name is Enabish. My name is Enabish, I think. And you are? What do you want? Uh, I, I, I want to know what's going on here. I want to know what's going on here. You're not a mulger. I don't even know what a mulger is. <laughs> I don't know what a mulger is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. Oh. Wait. What substance? That's, again, I feel like we're getting ten new questions for every answer we get. What substance? I don't understand. My name is Eva. And I understand even less than you. Huh. Do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything, and I don't feel my legs. Yeah, about your legs. They're they're kind of stuck in place. Um, they're fused together, kind of like a well. They're basically a vase. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying the uh, Dark Side Detective series, uh, Devin. We had a lot of fun with that. They're um fused together, kind of like a vase. What? Well, yeah, basically you're part vase, part robot. I, I don't know if we did that. <laughs> You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. I, I understandably. Calm down, Eva. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. Come on, context clues, Enabash. Context clues. I mean, you've had your body replaced. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Oh. Where did you get Half of humanity. I mean, that's not surprising. Um, well, I found it in an old cache. We already got that. I've just now found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child. Yes. Yes, if my journal is to be... And yeah, I guess that's a little sus. my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Uh, I mean, I have so many... Qu if I'm Enabesh, I have a million more questions than this. Um, well, Ongots brought it. My father's trained a golden eagle. Ongots brought it. My father's trained golden eagle. We, we we got it when we were like a kid. 
Uh, I don't know where he had found it. I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Uh, 18 years ago, I guess. Long. 18 years ago. Listen, Inibish. I feel ill at ease here and scared. I want to remember who I hey, am. Hey, I'd be happy to help. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take huh. me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. Oh, evacuators. Ah, uh, um, wait, what marker? What marker? The authenticity marker. It's like my passport. Oh, okay. Hey, Karuna, how are you doing today? All requests must be accompanied by data from the marker. Hmm. But it appears to be broken. Okay, so what do we do? So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neural copy number, but I don't remember it. Oh, my God. I remember almost nothing about myself. Well, I mean, I guess we're in the same boat. Just like me. Well, at least you're in your home. You know about your childhood, your family. Oh, man, this is, this is wow. So yeah, uh, Devin, this game is wow. Basically, we go through like a little tutorial, wake up, and we're just in this yurt, and we have no idea what's going on, other than we live in a future where people are basically either voluntarily or f being forced to replace their bodies with mechanical recreations. I'm not sure if I'm home. And there was a I terrible disaster in the area that we Strange. don't know much about, other than it killed Listen, uh, our family. Why don't you start asking me questions? Anything you wish to know? Uh, so much. Maybe that will help sort my memories. Maybe I'll even remember the number. Okay, are you all right? Are you all right? I feel something is wrong with this body. I can't figure Yeah, I mean, it definitely looks like it's been... Um, we need to hurry. Augmented outside of maybe the manufacturer's suggestion. Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? Right. Yeah, you may need to restart uh, Twitch. They are called M bodies. Ah. Uh, hold on. So, why replace people's bodies? Hold on. Why replace people's bodies? Because of the epidemic. Oh, there God. A virus that spread across the globe. Oh. A sterility virus. Well, that's at least not as... They fight it, so they developed this... Terrifying as it sounds, I guess. Transferring consciousness from a regular body into a mechanical one. Oh. Hey, welcome back, Devin. Uh, kind of like a personal refuge, kind of like I guess. A personal refuge? Right. A temporary refuge. Huh. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able to return to our regular bodies. Wait, so then how are the bodies being stored? Uh, the virus could be gone by now. It's been years. The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I guess we don't know when this happened. Know. It was just so... No treatment hmm. worked. Not antibiotics, nothing. Well, antibiotics don't work on viruses, so... <laughs> ...substance capable of destroying the virus. Passing. But the accumulation process was extremely slow. Huh. Well, we're, 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 we're basically learning what this game is about right now. Um... Essentially, there there was some terrible global virus. No idea what that's like. Um, but this one caused mass sterility. So basically half the, the world's population put their minds into robotic bodies. And it sounds like their physical bodies were also being preserved somehow. And then once the virus was cured, they would get returned to their body. But man, this is wild. Oh, man. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. Um, okay. It with their nervous system. That's a little concerning. Nervous system? I don't get it. Well, Passium can only be extracted from emotions. Oh, okay. Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, your empathy oh. manufactures a little bit of the substance. This is incredibly confusing, but okay. So it's a substance produced by emotions. I mean, we kind of have that. I mean, in in many ways, our hormones are a kind. Of, I had my, it's kind of reverse though. It's more like hormones influence emotions. But I guess there's also the possibility of the reverse in this universe. A substance produced by emotions. Yes, emotions were the only thing capable of making a remedy against the virus. Uh. As a result, passing skyrocketed in value. Oh. Far surpassing everything else. This is very confusing, person, but all right. 
They became... Everybody became a source of value. Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although... Huh. There were people whose substance was considered more valuable than that of others. Wait, and who were those people? Who were those people? People that were special, somehow. They had something. Oh. They were greatly respected, but... I can't remember. Wait. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I can't breathe. Hmm. Wait, uh... Why would you need to breathe? You need oxygen? Breathe. You need oxygen? I simply need to inhale air. It's been inherited from my former body. Well, that makes sense, you know. I we kind of just naturally breathe. All M bodies have a special module that's ah. for purpose. It imitates breathing. Okay. Uh, well, how can we help? Can I help you somehow? I need a breathing module. Could you find Oh, jeez. Um, well, I mean, where would I get one? And we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's about. Um, I mean, there's a river. We're kind of in a valley. There's, like, transportation. There's an abandoned, the like, Some dome abandoned thing. Complex. What kind of complex? Uh, it's a big dome. A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. Huh. I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. Anabish, I remember this name. Huh. I used to have a connection to Wait, it's an amusement park? It's an amusement park. Uh, I mean, I guess so, sure. It looks the part. Embody parts were stored there, in the pavilion. Huh. It should definitely have a breathing. Um, wait, there were, uh, there were body parts in a children's park. I guess, you know, if they got injured. Body parts <laughs> in a children's park? They were once used in a show. Huh. All right. I um, exactly I guess we'll go look there. I guess we now have a reason. All right. Yeah, that's such a. I mean, it's a very strange I'll sensation. I imagine. I'll try to find the seventh pavilion. Database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. Um. Okay. Well, quickly, help me understand help something. Understand something. What's that? Uh. Ooh. Okay. Oh man, this is a very good question. Uh, how is it that emotions produce a substance? How is it that emotions produce a substance? Technically, it's not emotions that produce it, but a synchronizer. Okay. And what does it synchronize? And what does it synchronize? Hmm. Your consciousness with your DNA. It maintains a link between this your nervous system. This is wild. And okay. Thus, whenever you this is a very interesting setup. I've never kind of in encountered a science fiction a story with this exact setup. Hmm. That is the substance in question. Passing. Okay, so why the need for a DNA in a mechanical body? Why the need for DNA in a mechanical body? The consciousness cannot survive without the DNA. Huh. It perishes. Okay. And how does it perish and why? How does it perish and why? As to why, I do not know. Nobody does. Your neurocopy hmm. crumbles and you die in a fit of panic. You shake with terror for several minutes Man. and slip into a coma. Okay. Coma? Death, really. The neurocopy cannot be restored. Oh, man. All right. I got it. I, that makes sense to me. Oh, I wanted to... Um. All right, well, I guess uh, you can hang out here. Uh, sorry about the whole not being able to breathe thing. That must be very uncomfortable. Like, imagine if you were alive. Totally fine. But, like, your normal bodily functions weren't necessary. But, like, they were just turned off. That would be... F oh, yeah, that is a very uncomfortable thought. Can we now put you up here? I'm assuming we can't. Yeah, it fits. I'll secure it later. God damn it. All right. Well, again, you stay here. Be good. We got to go to a amusement park. This is not what I thought this was going to be. Because, yeah, apparently there was some great calamity. Like this thing blew up or some kind of radiation or something. And it killed our parents. And that's why... Our grandfather moved here to take care of us. That's what it sounds like. Oh, man. Yeah, this is interesting. This is a, a neat twist on the science fiction premise of, you know, transferring the mind and the soul into a mechanical or, or an artificial form. This is pretty. Yeah, look at this thing. Yeah, okay, I get it. This look definitely... I get more of the amusement park vibe when I'm walking up to it.
Very interesting. Okay, so how are we going to get into this place? Huh. Got to get her some kind of breathing apparatus. Yeah, I guess, like, what is this for? Oh, okay, all right. I think I see we uh, uh, see a way in. Pretty straightforward. Let's hop on in. Yeah, oh, it looks like someone else came here before. Yeah, someone put planks over here. So we're not the first, then. Oh, come on. There we go. The question is, how are we going to get out? Hopefully, there's a, an equally helpful branch leading out of this place. Oh, huh. yeah. Gerberal Garden. Gerberal? Hmm. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Without, I guess we don't really know a lot about the people who lived with these mechanical bodies. Like this this terrible global virus. English, I remember those who were. Okay. The ones whose passing was regarded as more valuable. It was their genes that made oh. them their DNA had fewer errors. Okay. In other words, these were people with good heredity. Such people produce a special kind of passion, which contains a valuable component. Okay. It was this component that was needed to... Ah, got it. So it's like a, a sub... That was why they commanded such respect. Uh-huh. Humanity struggle against the virus hinge. Gotcha. Back like... Then, everybody used to say hmm. that the emotions of beautiful people were our salvation. Oh. Interesting. So they're they're literally saying people who have more perfect DNA produced a special version of this substance, or there was an extra component in their substance, passium. Hmm. You know, something tells me this might not be entirely true. I'm I'm sensing that there might be a a, a conspiracy afoot to uh, to uh, let's say convert people from their biological self to their mechanical self. Yeah, what is this place? So we need to go to Pavilion 7, I believe she said. I'm sensing there's more to it than th what she's just saying. Oh, what's going on over here? Man, this place is wild. What is going on here? This looks like a, like a speaker's podium. Oh, jeez. That actually got me there. I was not expecting this thing to be able to move. All right, so this is for like a little like live show. Ooh, man. All right, what about you in here? Go into this thing? Yeah, we can. Oh, geez. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, the, the actual designs of all this stuff also reminds me uh, greatly of, like, the original Alien and Aliens. Like, so analog looking. Wait, what is going on over here? It's like the sound. Yeah, like in the in the bubble, like we can hear something. Oh, it's what is this? Yeah, what are these things? That was the thing that was inside the uh, the eagle as well. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's like a hologram sword. Oh, oh, this is just fun. Oh hell yeah, man. Theme parks get way cooler. Huh. It looks like this thing actually can cut, though. <laughs> it's like sending off sparks. All right. All right, let's let's stop goofing around. All right, you can go in the inventory. All right, so this is... Looks like Pavilion 1. Three, five, and... Three, and I guess this is seven? Or is this seven? Oh. Huh. Five. Like, seven should be here, right? Hmm. Maybe it's in this little building back here? Yeah, there's a little door back here. Uh, nothing doing, though. I know, we're in Star Wars now. We're like in, in you know, Mongolian Disney. Poke our head back here, just in case there's an entrance we can use. That doesn't look like it. Yeah, look at this place. 
All right. Let's actually take a look in this. Maybe this will get us to there. I don't know. All right. Let's take a look. Yeah, the design of this is so neat. This looks like it was a ride. Ooh, what do we got here? Automatic report card. Huh. Uh, some sort of canister, it looks like. Okay. Activate anything here, or is it just for our viewing pleasure? Hmm. You sit in this thing? Huh. Or is this for the body transfer? Yeah, is this, is this, wait, is this a body transfer thing? Because they, they mentioned in the text earlier that a big, uh, or uh, like a, a crucial component of that is the touching of the palm and maintaining eye contact. So this has to be for that, right? Huh. And then I'm assuming this is where the, huh. Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Is this where the physical body goes afterwards or the where the mechanical body comes in? Yeah, this has to be for the body transfer. A little concerning. Hmm. All right. We need to get to Pavilion 7, but not seeing it. There's 10, 8. Yeah, where the hell is 7? Is this it? Oh, this has got to be it, right? Come on. No. Hmm. Yeah, I love the design of this place. It's such a unique feel. Hmm. Like is, is this what we're looking for here? Can we, can we get into this thing? Can we hang out? No. Hmm. And we, can we use our sick sword? The sword of truth and justice? Hell yeah. Play this guy? Yeah, that's right. Bam. Bam. Huh. Apparently the, the, the hair actually has interaction. This is so cool. Huh. Hmm, one white chair. Wait, did I hear like a dog? Huh. All right, but where do we want to go? How are we going to get into... Oh, there's seven. Seven is up here. Oh, that's what we were missing. Yeah, there's seven. You can see very faintly. All right, is this an elevator then? Yeah? Okay. Woo! Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was pretty cool. All right, we got a slide. You're at the location. Hold on. Hold on. I'll try to open the doors. Oh. Yeah, it looks like it's working okay. Huh. Why do they need to keep all these parts here? Yeah, this is a little worrying. Okay. I'm not worried I'm going to be turned into goo. Don't turn me into goo. I'm, I don't have any passium. Oh, we're like passing out. Oh, jeez. Did, did she lure us here? Is, is it all a trap? Oh, man. All right, this game is like way more intriguing than I, I thought it might be. Whoa. Wait, what is going on here? Oh, is this like like a virtual reality ride? Yeah. We're we're in the ride itself. The 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 Pavilion 7. The Endless Sands. Collect 30 blue cubes to gain the breathing module. Wait, they were giving them away as a prize? Throw cubes into the uprising stream. Hold the right button 
while throwing to make a burst of cubes. Don't fall into the water, that reduces your score. Make use of the uprising stream to lift yourself. Great platforms. Valuable cubes are hidden inside those. Apply blue cube to a white one to create a platform. Right click to delete the cubes blocking your way. Hmm. Okay. Um, 